Well, from one coast to another, U.S. importers having deja vu. Shipping container backups now being triggered on the East Coast, while the West Coast is still trying to get back on track. Ports in New York and New Jersey all the way down to Georgia and the Gulf Coast of Texas now being affected. The influx has left 200,000 empty containers clogging up the ports in New York and New Jersey. So joining us now to talk more is Zach Strickland, head of market intelligence at Freight Waves. Zach, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so you know, months ago we were talking about the West Coast uh, and, and, the, and the backups there. So things seem to be getting a little bit better on the West Coast. The problem though now shifting to the East Coast. So what is this gonna mean for shipments overall? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a lot of these companies were trying to figure out, you know, it, it was basically a traffic jam of imports coming into the country. So what they did was they started shifting to these East Coast ports. Now, what we're seeing right now is kind of the culmination of a trend that started late last year. Uh, unfortunately for consumers, it means that any kind of near term demand freight is still going to have trouble coming into the country, which means these shippers and, and companies are still going to have to navigate uh, a pretty long lead time in terms of getting the freight into the United States. So is there a difference at all between, you know, what's happening right now on the East Coast versus what we saw earlier this year on the West Coast? Yeah, it, I mean, it's not totally different in the way that it is a product of the past two years of record demand side uh, growth. Uh, but it is a little different in the way that the nuance of the East Coast ports is close to all these consumer centers. And so they're going to be a little bit more congested in general uh, to deal with, to get away from that. We still have a lot of uh, drayage issues, which is the transportation of these containers. Uh, by truck to some of these warehouses. Uh, so there's still a lot of congestion in that sector. And then when you combine that with the fact that geographically, it's, it just doesn't have a lot of room to move uh, out of the East Coast, it's gonna make things a little bit more challenging as well. You know, Zach, this seems a little insane, I know, for me to ask you here, because we are in August, but I mean, really, we, we are just a few months from the holiday season. Is there a chance that could be impacted? Yeah, I, absolutely. So one of the big struggles with a lot of these companies, we just heard Walmart canceled a bunch of inventory. They said that it's going to take them at least two to three quarters to get their inventory right. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have inventory. It just means they may not have the right inventory. Uh, so one of the concerns is if we still have all these congestion congestions around these ports and some of this infrastructure, the shippers are not going to be able to get kind of that demand of some of these goods uh, into the United States as quickly as possible, which is, you know, they still have inventory of stuff that's left over from earlier in the year. So if demand doesn't change a lot, then we're still going to be all right. But if there's some new trends in demand, uh, that means that we're still probably in, in a little bit of trouble. Okay, could be, and maybe some more trouble potentially. Zach, could the hurricane season make things worse, I would imagine? I mean, hurricanes tend to get a lot of the press for causing these disruptions, and they cause tremendous amounts of problems for transportation domestically. Uh, but, you know, we still have 86% of the hurricane season left, uh, which means that we're, we're ripe uh, for any kind of onslaught. It only takes one to really disrupt things. But, yeah, it could potentially uh, any one could come in and just make things even worse. The good news is, though, is that domestic transportation has – loosened up significantly versus this time last year. So we're not quite as exposed as we have been. All right, well, do good. You're ending on, on a good note there. All right, Zach Strickland, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.